Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship preview video and of course this is the Titanic which I've been building for the past two or three weeks and uh, I've nearly finished it, still some things that need to be done and uh, just thought I'd show off what I've done so far. I was going to leave this video till later in the month but I thought I'd better get, get out of the way now. But uh, this is what I've been working on and uh, yeah, it don't look too bad to it. Uh, it's a complete, uh, I was going to say rebuild but it's not, it's built entirely from scratch uh, no longer using the old model that I'd done sort of seven, eight years ago, which is in the distance over there. So this is all new uh, design uh, using a basic deck plan, but uh, county pixels is also part of the job. And uh, yeah, it's not too, not too bad. It's more in proportions. It's uh, I'll say it is in proportions uh, with uh, a proper deck plan. It's not one to one scale. It's not two to one scale. It is somewhere roughly in between. But we'll, I'll get to the dimensions in a bit. We we'll have a quick flyover uh, the length of the ship. Like I said, I've been using a simple deck plan. A simple deck plan is really all you need, um, as long as you get all the proportions right. And it's uh, it's actually a absolute pleasure to build this thing. It was it's um, such a simple thing because uh, uh, being the Titanic, there's photographs, pictures, models, uh, postcards, everything to do with the Titanic, and you're never short of information. And uh, this is what I come up with. And I keep saying and, but uh, there we go. Um, but yeah, everything is all in proportions again. I mean, I've got the old design here. I built this, well, I built the new one next to the old one because I thought I might be able to get, uh, you know, salvage some things from it. But the only thing I've salvaged from it is the propellers. Everything else is just absolutely useless, basically. So everything's all new on here. Uh, and uh, yeah, everything is sort of more detailed as well. I mean, cargo hatches, cranes. Uh, event cowlings and things like that. We've got all those things which are more uh, detailed. Um, yeah, there's uh, all those sorts of things. A basic interior is what I've done as well. What I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a full interior like people have been requested me. I don't normally do interiors. So what I'll do. All, I, all I'm going to do is just the deck layout and uh, the forward grand staircase. That would be the only thing I do for the internals. Um, that's what I've been requested anyway because I don't normally do interiors and I'm trying to avoid doing it anyway so the interiors that will be done are of course the well will be the grand staircase the forward one so a quick fly over the forecastle once again I'm still limited on the on the uh, blocks I have because of course I'm not using the latest version of the game so uh, there's probably more de there's more probably more uh, block types and uh, different things you can use to detail it out a bit more and we've got all these bits down here. As you can see, we've got the cargo cranes facing the right way, the uh, cargo hatches, stairs on the forecastle or on the well deck. Also, got the covered stairs on the uh, boat deck here, so you can go from here down to the next deck below, and then down to this area here. I've not detailed out the windows on this area yet, so I've got the promenade deck here. I've not uh, added any windows or anything down there. It's the same with the deck below as well. So if I just pop down there. You can see I've not got any details down there either, so it's it's still plenty of uh, work to do before I do do the tutorial. And the tutorial has been confirmed for this thing because this is what the whole purpose of this thing was. Uh, I created a pole and this came out on top, so that's that. But uh, the, tutu uh, the tutorial will not be uh, ready until, well I won't be starting it until sort of the first or second week of January. Because I don't want to start something now and not be able to finish it after a few weeks so I'm going to do it all in January and uh, we'll worry about it then so another quick fly over the, the uh, side of the ship so I've only got 16 lifeboats on at the moment there's still four more to add two by the funnel and then two by the first lifeboat so there's those things to add I won't be adding adding any rigging because uh, that is just a pain in the backside to add so it's going to be pretty bare but uh, hey ho what do you know uh, got all the little vent cowlings on here because while I've been using a simple blueprint for the uh, design I've also got uh, a model on my desk as well it's the if anyone remembers the old Revel model it's a 1570 scale model it's not very detailed but I'm just using it for the uh, placings of the vents things like that so if I just pick it up and tap the side of it you'll know that sound that's the model it's hollow as my head but you know lump of plastic that's basically what it is but it helped out with the placing of vents and things that's all it was used for um, that model is nearly that model is 21 years old and it's probably older than most of the viewers of this channel so <laughs> that's that 
All right, so I'm just going to pop down to the stern. Uh, the stern is probably going to be slightly redesigned. Well, that the hull is not, but the propellers are because the propellers are four bladed, where well, there should be three. Um, if I get the uh, night vision, you'll be able to see it a bit better. So as you can see, I've sculpted the stern a bit better than I did on the original. It's still sort of basic, but it works nonetheless. So we've got the uh, centre propeller just there, which needs a bit more curving around it. And the two outer propellers are meant to be three bladed, whereas mine are four. I may leave that, I don't know. These are the only things that were salvageable from the old models. So, you know, I may keep them just for nostalgic purposes. So that's that little jobby done there. Uh, excuse the uh, the uh, white uh, or the, or the white cross flags. That's not a hospital flag. That is the flag of Saint George because I'm an Englishman. I always try to stick an English flag on anything I build. So that's that. That's the reason for that. So I've got another one up there and another one on the foremast. So I'll quick fly around again. So I've got all the details on the stern. Proper uh, supports for the cranes. They're not just sort of sticks anymore. Uh, I've got anvils for the um, bollards. And uh, all the uh, stern detail around here, and uh, all that. But, uh, staircases, vent cowlings again. More cranes up here. Ooh, missed that one. And on the promenade deck again. Like I said, there's no detailing in there yet. Uh, fly over the boat deck. It does look quite bare, to be honest. But you know, it's sort of. I know there's meant to be sort of fencing, uh, not fencing, but handrails going across the deck as well, sort of separating areas. But I'm not going to add that. Uh, I'll leave that to the uh, fanboys, if you like, the ones who have got more time than I have to do the detailing. Um, we've got all the uh, 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 vent cowlings on the... Uh, I think this, this is the sun deck, or is it the... the what is this? Is it the sun deck? Or the um, compass... Not the compass deck, is it? I don't really know what it's called. I think it's the sun deck, but I'm not sure. Not really sure about the deck layout. But a quick flyover again. Here's where the first staircase will be. I've not added anything inside there yet, so it's just an open uh, or uh, just a flat deck at the moment. But this is where the first staircase will go, and I will add that for the tutorial. And because I'm using the uh, basic texture pack for Minecraft, it's going to be the worst looking staircase uh, known to man. So that's uh, I do apologise for that one. I'll fly around again. I might do a bit more of this uh, brown detailing as well, because it, it does look good on top of the... Uh, edges of the ship, it's just I've added it on uh, various areas uh, so that's that, and also I've been told about this, there's no overhang on the uh, bridge, but I added it there because I think it looks neat, so <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just uh, I think it looks a bit better with the overhang um, yeah, so we'll fly over the forecastle again got uh, as much detail as I could add there, I mean the anchor chains are still concrete slabs, but that's that and the uh, if you've seen the preview photograph I've done of the uh, the hull, you see that the bow is sort of more sculpted. It's a bit squarer than it needs to be, but uh, it's it's anything's better than the original that I had. So that's the uh, uh, the, the bow done. It, it is a better sculpt anyway. I mean, it's not as sculpted as it could be, but it's still uh, more to the right shape. And just fly around the side again. Got the crow's nest up there. Got the forward mast. The masts are just single blocks, uh, single block in width and diameter. Because I try to make the mast um, sort of so you can walk up the inside of it, but just look too fat. So I've just left just left it as a single block width. Um, I leave that up to the individual if they want to add the uh, proper diameter and things, and the ladder up the inside. But we'll see. Um, we've got the uh, portholes along the side of the white superstructure. Uh, the windows on the underside of the promenade deck, these ones here, they are sort of scattered accurate. Well, it's not strictly accurate, but they're more accurate than I did on the original ship. So uh, I may correct them later on when I come to do the tutorial or a sort of a tidy up of this model. Uh, I know I'm rambling on a bit, but I want to get as much uh, information as I can out. Right, so for the uh, the uh, length of the ship, uh, I, uh, the length of the ship is 456 blocks long, so it's 456 blocks long, so from front to back, of course. That's not two, 2 to 1 scale, it's not 1 to 1 scale, it is just between full size and double size, so it's it's a lot shorter than the uh, original one over there. Uh, width, the hull of the ship is 49 blocks wide, the uh, width of the ship with the promenade and boat deck is 51 blocks wide, and the height of the ship from the keel to the boat deck is 51 blocks high so the uh, the red section is 18 blocks high the black section is also 18 blocks high so there's no shear with the ship the uh, the hull is 
uniform all the way the full length so there's no shear to the uh, um, uh, to the hull so it's uniform all the way around so uh, that's the only thing that's sort of left out on the ship uh, I never added a shear to, well I don't think I've added a shear to any of my ships, there's only the tugs I've added a proper shear um, so that's that, <laughs> you can see out here there's a massive gap to this thing here and uh, it's, a, it's a shame to see this old thing go but uh, I know it's it's not accurate, it's just a pile of shit but you know it's 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 sort of my trademark and uh, it's gonna go, sort it. Alright, so uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pop on the inside and uh, actually get the uh, tools up. So I'm gonna cut a hole here and go inside. And you, as you can see, it is uh, empty inside. I've, I've laid out the decks of where they're gonna go, but as you can see, it is pretty uh, empty in here. And it's also a flat bottom ship as well. She's so a flat bottom girl still, uh, as with my ships. Uh, I don't wanna go too overly detailed with my ships. I mean, I will explain this now. I don't want to be too sort of over arrogant with the design and claim it is sort of the biggest, the widest, the most detailed and all things like that. I try to keep my ships basic. I mean, it sort of gives it the uh, the innocent naivety, if you like. It's sort of the, the, the yeah, the sort of the naivety, uh, naive design, if you know what I mean. It's, it's my trademark, if you like. But uh, that's the way I work. So she's a flat bottom still, all the way along. But the the deck layout is here. I mean, this is just below. I think this is below the well deck. I'm not sure if I just pop a hole up there. So we are. Uh, yeah, the well deck is well. This the well deck is just forward of that wall there. So that's the uh, the lowest deck so far. The other decks are laid out. So and each deck is laid out. Uh, with a four block gap so every deck is four blocks whereas on the old ship you had some which were two blocks some which were three blocks and some which were four blocks I've made sure all the decks are a four block gap and I will add the decks uh, when I when I do the tutorial because when I add the grand staircase you've got to have something to attach it to um, and also uh, not during the tutorial but probably in an update video or two I may come back and add um, the bulkheads uh, boilers and maybe the second staircase but other than that I'm not really going to go too far into this because um, when some people want to get on and do their own thing once they've built the full ship they want to fill it out their own way so I don't want to get in in uh, in people's way if you know what I mean so that's that'll be for that so I'll just close the hole up there but like I say she's a flat bottom ship still but we have still got a relative sculpt, so you can see the hull sculpts up like that. So that is uh, all that there, and like I said, I'm trying to get as many technical spec specifications out of the way uh, before I close this. Uh, the bridge is a seven window design, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was going to make it nine, but it just make it too wide, so I've left it as a seven block design or seven window design. And uh, but if you want to correct it, you can. So you've got the wheelhouse there. I've got to look out the windows there, and uh, it is much more in proportion. <laughs> um, just trying to think what else to do. Um, I know I've been asked to do the uh, Britannic tutorial as well, and also the Olympic. I think what I will do is when I do the tu the Titanic tutorial, uh, I'll probably use the first sort of three or four videos uh, as a base for the. Um, Britannic tutorial and then the tutorials will split. The Titanic tutorial will carry on in its direction and the Britannic tutorial will go from and the Brit Britannic tutorial will go from sort of part four or five and then go in its own direction and I'll come back to that and finish it later on. So I may do two tutorials in once uh, at one or two tutorials in one to get Britannic and maybe Olympic out of the way. So don't uh, fret if you uh, want me to do or if I'm not going to do a Britannic I probably will do it. But uh, I'll see what the time restraints are and uh, the abilities that I have. So that may be the options for then. So it'll probably be two and one, but we'll have to wait and see on that. So, um, yeah. But anyway, it is a massive improvement over my original Titanic, I will say that. Not arrogantly, but, you know, a sort of trained chimp with a pencil up its backside could have built my old Titanic. So it's an old design. It's seven years old now, I think. 2010 yeah it's seven years old and uh, it's time that I built this one this new one and 
I'm very much happy with it. I'm very impressed with it. I'm, you know, I, I took great pleasure in building it. And uh, yeah, just it's amazing what you could achieve just by using a simple deck plan. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. But like I say, it's not one to one scale. It's not two to one scale. It is somewhere in between. So uh, just like so get that information out of the way. Um, not really much else I can say. Um, but yeah, the tutorial won't begin until uh, sort of the first or second week of January. Um, so don't fret if you miss anything. Um, and uh, not really much else I can think of. But yeah, it's still it's still the naive basic design, but it is still just a hell of a lot better than my original. And uh, we'll go from there. Of course, after this ship uh, tutorial wires will be. Uh, the Majestic from I think it's 1914 Majestic, or is it 1923? It was one of those two anyway. It's uh, the Majestic will follow this one, and then after that I'll probably do another poll, um, and then we'll go on and make, uh, or see what other people want me to make after that. So we'll see. Um, but I'm just sort of wasting time now and rambling on a bit, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, like I said, it's a real pleasure to build this thing, and I hope you enjoy building it as well when I get round to building it. Uh, on video or on in a video um, yeah that's that so I'll have a quick one more quick flyover if you want me to and uh, go from the front end to the back end again uh, but as I say the detailing is all there as much as I'm willing to do there may be some more to add later on and also a recorrection correction of the props but we'll see so fly over the forecastle well deck I don't know the names of all the decks and I know it's the boat deck promenade deck and anything after that is sort of a blur. So the funnels there. The tops of the funnels are grated. Funnel number four is not grated, but it's sort of enclosed. Uh, I was asked what the uh, colour of the funnel is. It is yellow hardened clay. So that, that I orig originally used yellow wool, but yellow hardened clay is probably the better design or the better colour. Uh, so there we go across the uh, along the boat deck. Along the uh, aft end here, the deck houses there. Fourth funnel, as you'd expect, and up to the stern, and a better perspective there. So over the poop deck, and now looking at the old wreck. That was my original ship. So I was, I think, what I could have done is put these side by side for a, good, a comparison, but you know, sort of a, a bit late now. But uh, the, like I said, the only thing salvageable from those that original ship is the. Uh, Propellers. That's the only thing I sort of keep, I think. Bit of uh, nostalgia, if you like. But yeah, it's uh, a bit more work to do. But uh, like I say, tutor the tutorial won't commence until January anyway, so no worries there. So that's really all I've got to say. Um, thanks for watching, and thank you for uh, suggesting this. I mean, I did do a poll, and uh, this thing came out on top by a long way, so this would be a new thing and also I'm sort of pondering what to do with the old tutorial I mean I built the original Titanic in 2010 and I did a tutorial for it in 2012 that 2012 tutorial will probably be either removed or unlisted so it's still beyond but it will only be available via link so um, it won't be on the search results anymore so um, I'll keep it, but I won't uh, leave it up. But the tutorial from 2014, which is basically a remake of the original ship, uh, I'll leave that on, and uh, I'll just rename it as say 2014 or original or whatever, just to sort of dif differentiate, differentiate or whatever word that is between old and new. So that'll be for that. But anyway, this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. Uh, thanks for watching all that and I shall return in the, uh, with another video so uh, bye for now